Okay, so in this video, we look at how we can link Blender into open source so that you can create your title right here using Blender. As you can see here, this is the animated title. Once you click on that, you have this um, different template to choose from. And now uh, without Blender, once you click on your title, you can see this is what it gives you. It says to create um, a path to Blender so that you can be able to create the titles in uh, open source. So let's look at how we can do that. Let's close this and go back again. Now to do that first, we need the path of Blender. So once you're installing Blender, you go to your C drive, which is the main drive you install all your program into and then you open it and we know this is 64 bit so let's go to um, program files so let's go in here and you can see look for this folder here blender foundation so once you click this and you can see the version of blender that you downloaded blender 2.93 and simply open that and from there you come to this site here and click here to select the link and you can simply control and C to copy this link once you're done with that, going back to open short and then in the edit, you see the preferences here, click and then in Blender, it says Blender command path. So in the path here, we already have the Blender name there. You simply put a forward slash and then in front of the forward slash, what you do, control and V to paste the path. So now we just create the path to blender so you can do the same for the inkscape you can install inkscape into your pc and then you go to program files like what we did for blender you copy and follow exactly the same thing to link it into open source so once we're happy with this let's just close this and now when you go to the title and animated title you click that and uh, let's say you just um, choose one of these for um, just a test so let's select this one and you can see that pop up did not appear because we have link blender into open source now from here now you can type in your file name here change this to whatever file name you want to um, change to and then your text here so let's look at all this part here in the extrude uh, as we know the name extrude but how does this 0.1 one zero appear exactly when we create the text so let's go to blender and look at how, how thick that will be so going to blender here we have the default cube here so let's delete that by pressing x to delete and then shift a and then select the text you can also select the text from here and from here we need to rotate this at x and 90 degrees so x is the red line and the y is the green line now once we do this you can see the blue line here is the z axis so we want to rotate our text at 90 degrees to x so to do that let's zoom in by middle mouse button and then press down r x and 90 so now you can see our text is in 2d so we want it to be in 3d so selecting the text coming here to the text properties you can see the geometry here and here is the extrude so let's go for 0 0.10 which is the same as in um, open source so you can see how thick this text is so if you want this it's okay but you can reduce this so you can take it down like 0 0.05 and you can see we just reduce the text down in the open source you can see that it says uh, bevel depth our bevel depth in open source is 0.02 you can change that if you want to so going back to blender here we don't have any uh, bevel yet but if you look at the um, text property here you have the bevel here so here is the depth so let's um, increase this up and as you can see the edge here so in our example the bevel depth is 0.2 so here it is going to look like so with that out of the way let's go back to open sort so now we have that now and then once you're ready just click render so depending on the pc you have the graphics card um, how fast it's gonna go you can render that so with that out of the way i'll be back again when this render is done okay so it is done now and as you can see this is our little text created using blender here so let's just get this and drag it onto the timeline 
And as you can see, this is our text now as we have um, created that. So here's the animation with the text. Okay, so that's how we can create a text linking Blender into open source and um, yeah, create the text using the animated title. There are different kinds here that you can be able to use and uh, some of them might take a little bit longer to render. For example, the um, dissolve because it used the particles in Blender. So I just convert this to mesh and now uh, here you can see the particle section here and we have the particles here. So if I just um, grab the marker and run to you can see the particles dropping here so um yeah it's using the particles so it needs some um, uh, graphic cards that can be able to render pasta so yeah if you want to use this part if your machine is not that really powerful you can always use the other text here to create in a text in blender okay so thank you again and if you enjoy watching this video please do like and subscribe that will be a big help for us and um yeah thank you and see you back again in up and running with open source.